Hey everybody, thank you for tuning back into Albatross Barbecue. I've become a bit of a fan recently of cherry juice and the fruitiness that it gives. So I've been thinking, let's combine that with some pork ribs and see how it goes. Really looking forward to this one, guys. Thanks for watching. So I picked these ribs up from my local supermarket and they don't look too bad at all. A great car and a reasonable amount of fat. Any loose bits like this, I recommend cutting it off. It's just a backyard cook, so just trim your ribs as you wish. There's some nice fat in between those bones, which is a great sign. But the first thing you've got to do is get that membrane off. So grab yourself a butter knife, push all the way through to the end, and then grab yourself a paper towel and just simply rip it off. As most of you know, those membranes can be quite rubbery, so best to get them off. Not a bad looking rack. As I said, some nice fat between the bones that should render down pretty well. So grab yourself some mustard or oil. Put that down as a binder, so when you add your rub, it should stick pretty nicely. With these being a cherry-based rack of ribs, that's exactly what I'm using today. A touch of cherry is one of my favorite rubs. Just apply it generously to both sides, making sure there's a nice even coat throughout the rack of ribs. This rub is actually quite mild. I wanted to give it a little bit of an extra punch, so I decided to throw on a little bit of extra paprika just to see if it gives it a little bit of an extra kick. I decided to wrap these ribs up in some film just for a couple of hours, put them in the fridge and let them sweat before I put them on the smoker. All right, so those cherry flavored ribs have been sitting in the fridge now for approximately two hours. I just turned this on to smoke mode and the temperature has been preset now to 225 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 107 degrees Celsius. In my hopper here, I've also put some cherry flavored pellets, see how they go. So stay tuned and thanks for watching. These ribs have really taken on a beautiful reddish color due to the cherry rub as well as the paprika. Let's get them on the smoker and get them smoking. After an hour, I'm just gonna give them a little bit of a spritz with some apple cider vinegar and some water. As you can see, the starts take on a little bit of extra smokiness color, which is fantastic. After three hours of cooking, they look as red as air's rock, which is fabulous. So let's take them off and wrap them up. To wrap them, I'm just using some foil. Boat your foil, grab yourself your cherry juice, pour your cherry juice in. I'm not putting anything else in there for sweetness because there's gonna be more than enough sugar in that cherry juice. Then one last little sprinkle of that cherry rub. I noticed I put these ribs bone side down, so flip them over and put the meat side down for this cook so that juice can really get through that meat. Two hours later, checking them again. I'm mainly checking for tenderness here, not so much the temperature. I'm aiming for around the 200 degrees Fahrenheit. They were hitting about 180. So I wrapped them up for a little bit longer. Once they hit 200, I just rubbed a little bit more cherry juice on top, got my barbecue sauce, let them cook for a further 30 minutes before they're ready to enjoy, just so we could thicken up and really make those a beautiful, tender, juicy rib.
Okay, everybody, here we have it. So our cherry ribs, they look beautiful, they smell beautiful, got an amazing smoke ring, but it all comes down to the flavor and the taste. So let's dig in. Definitely cherry. If you like a fruity rib, give this a go. Very, very fruity, lots and lots of smoke. Lovely pink color from the smoke as well as the, uh, the cherry juice. Really, really good. I'm glad I gave this one a go. Cherry pork ribs. Give them a go, you won't be disappointed. Thanks for watching. Traditionally, you use something sweet to wrap your ribs. Something like brown sugar, honey, or apple juice. That's how I started, but now I wanted to experiment. Experiment with different flavors through ribs, and this was a great experiment. If you enjoy fruity flavor, give this a go. You may just love it. I'll be experimenting a lot more with other rib flavors in the future, so please subscribe, stay tuned, and stay safe. Thanks, everybody.